Hello kiddos, do you miss me? <laughs> this is Coach Gada for your home edition of your CrossFit Grenzgänge um, session for today. Um, I'm going to give you one of my favorite workouts. I've just done it yesterday and it has proven to be absolutely beautiful. So we're going to start with um, a nice little three round warm up, which is pretty basic just to get the juices pumping to prepare us for the rest of the stuff that we're going to be doing today. Um, the warm up starts with, with um, 10 jumping jacks, 10 air squats, 10 toe touches and 5 elephant walks. Um, three rounds of this and then we get to a core crusher. So we're going to focus on the core today. So a little bit of a ab workout. <laughs> and then we have a sweaty chipper just to lock the day with to make sure that you get some sweat into the day. Um, okay, for the warm up, we're going to start with... 10 jumping jacks, pretty basic. 10 repetitions of this, and then 10 air squats. Make sure you're standing um, hip width, toes pointing outwards, reach in the front, sit to the back, and then all the way down, pushing your knees down, and then up. Side view, same thing. Sit back, down, all the way below parallel, and then up. Then you have 10 toe touches, narrower stance, toes looking a little bit outwards, you're gonna bend down, touch your toes, and then go back up. Down, touch your toes, go back up. For the elephant walks, you're going to walk your hands all the way out until you're in a wide position. Lock these abs, the glutes, and then walk all the way back up. Feel free to bend your knees if you're not so flexible in the hamstrings. One more time. Walk yourself all the way out. Pause for a second. Lock your abs and your hips. And then back up. All the way up. So it's a nice warm up. 10 repetitions of the first three movements, five repetitions of the elephant walks. You repeat that for three rounds at your own pace. No need to rush at this point because you're just trying to warm up. As I mentioned before, today's focus is going to be a core crusher just, just to get the abs activated. Um, so we're going to have three to five rounds of a Tabata. That's 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. The one round includes three movements. Every movement will do 20 seconds of work of and 10 seconds of rest before switching on to the next movement. The first movement that we have is a single leg raise. The second one is the tuck crunch. And then we have a nice 20 second of Russian twists um, to be able to lock out the round. Um, so just to work a little bit on the movements, to go over them to make sure everybody understands. The single leg raise is really cool. And the tuck crunches as well, because they really keep you activated the full time. No relaxation. Um, we're going to need a single object of height from home. Anything um, that has a little bit of height that you can use. You start in a hollow position um, with your legs either straight or a little bit bent, depending on how much core strength you currently have. You want to keep your hands either next to you, in front of you, or to the back. This is easier. This is a little harder. This is a lot harder. And once the clock is on for the 20 seconds, you want to pass one leg over, and then the next, second leg over, and then the next, again, and again. You make sure your core is always engaged, one leg over, and then one leg over. You go back, you keep this um, work until the 20 seconds are over. And then you get 10 seconds of rest, switching on then to the next 20 seconds of work, which are going to be tuck crunches. You also start at a hollow position. Let's keep the hands next to us. Bring your knees to your chest, and then switch. You dodge the object, knees to chest, dodge the object, knees to chest, and then dodge the object. 20 seconds of work. And then you have 10 seconds of rest. And then you go straight into your Russian twist. Feet together, knees slightly bent. And then very quickly, you try to touch your hands to the ground on both sides, just to make sure we're working the sides of the core. Now that's one round. You can um, take rest, take a little bit of a break between each round, maybe 60 to 90 seconds. And then you complete three to five rounds depending on how much effort you're prepared to put, you are prepared to put for this work. 
And then we switch to the actual word of the day. The last thing that we have for today's home workout is the workout of the day. Today's workout of the day on the menu, we have a sweaty chipper. That sweaty chipper is going uh, to work us up a lot. However, the beautiful thing about having a chipper in a workout is that you get to pace yourself to something that you can hold consistently through the full workout. So it doesn't have to be too fast. It's more about the focus of finishing all the repetitions that you have to finish, not necessarily the quickest way to finish it, but rather the most qualitative as well. So for the sweaty chipper today, we have 100 deadlifts, 50 push-ups, 100 air squats, and then 50 strict presses. I know everybody's gonna freak out right now thinking these are a lot of repetitions. However, all of these are mostly body weight movements or they involve a very, very low comfortable weight or small resistance that each one of you can actually pick on their own relative to their own um, performance. However, we all have a nice cash out bonus of 50 burpees and if you want to pump them up a little bit, if you think you're feeling good, you can pump them up to 100 burpees or somewhere in between 50 and, uh, and 100. It's absolutely your choice on what kind of intensity your body and your mind is preparing to give you for the day. Um, so just to go over the little bit of the movements. And the first movement is the deadlift. And for that, what you can do is have a small weight that would act as a resistance. For me today, I'm going to give you the option of using a bottle filled with water. So for the deadlift, the best way to do is a side view. You have an air stance normally. Toes are looking to the outside. You're going to push your knees out, send your hips back, and pick up the bottle from the ground. Make sure your back is straight. Arms are straight as well, and lats are engaged. So try to send your shoulders backwards. Now go all the way up. Push the ground with your legs. Send your hips back. Go back down. Now all the way up again, and down. This is the deadlift. Make sure your back is straight, your chest is up. We don't want to injure you at all. This is just a home workout for you to get a sweat, so your safety is the most important thing. The second way to do those deadlifts is to actually use some, sort of, some form of resistance. I find bands to be beautiful. Um, but if you don't have a band, that's fine. You can use a little weight. But for the band option, you want to put your feet inside the band, head as well. Make sure your back is straight. So from that position, back is straight, knees are pushing out. Push the ground all the way up to your full stance. Glutes are tucked in, now back down, all the way up, back down. That's 100 repetitions of your deadlifts. And then the second thing, the second movement is the push-up. For us, the push-up, start at plank position on your tiptoes, try to hollow your chest, go all the way down until chest is up on the ground, and then back up, down, up. If you want to scale this down a little, feel free to do it on your knees. Down, up, down, up. Also, if this is too tiring, you can always try to hand release, and then go back up. Hand release, back up. Another scaling option would be to do negative push-ups. So from here, go all the way down until your chest touches the ground, release your full body, and go back up. And then we have afterwards, 100 air squats. There's, you can never do enough squats, that's my um, opinion anyway. <laughs> so again, shoulder width, your feet stance, toes pointing outwards, you sit back, arms ahead, push your knees out and go all the way down until you break parallel and then back up, a side view, again, all the way down, back up, down, up, down, up. The last movement of our beautiful chipper is a strict press and this is where you can use this Nice little bottle of water again. Make sure your stance are a little bit narrower than a squat. Toes pointing out. You want to tuck in your glutes. And with your elbows in the front, you want to press 
the bottle all the way up and then back to your front rack all the way up lock out behind your ears and back to your front rack side view up down up and down if you want these strict presses to be a little bit more challenging you can do one arm at a time 50 on each or maybe 25 on each if this weight is not challenging enough for you so you can play around with the workout to see what fits you perfectly and now the last cash out bonus is 50 to 100 burpees and here we go one make sure your full body makes contact with the ground up up that's our beautiful burpee if you think you can't um, fulfill this full range of motion you can always do a burpee without a push-up if your shoulders are a bit too tired so from here up 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 what i really like to say when it comes to burpees is make sure you do that clap don't skip it that's all about it <laughs> well thank you guys so much for paying attention to my video today Please enjoy this workout as much as I've enjoyed it yesterday. I absolutely miss all of you. And as soon as this um, <laughs> global issue is over, I promise that Berlin is going to be the first city that I visit. Mwah! Love you, Ganz Gangers.